Well, we came over the river and through the woods to Grandma and Grandpa's house, and we're going to be making a yellow perch meal. Uh, you saw on another video, or you can watch on another video, that we went ice fishing. I went ice fishing with a friend of mine, Don Schroeder. We caught some yellow perch, and I'm going to be preparing those. I'm going to make a simple meal, something that you can prepare for your family if you're a hunter or fisherman or a hunt, uh, hunt, hunting woman or fisherwoman. And uh, I'm going to be making fried yellow perch. We're going to have also turnip greens, which is a personal favorite of mine. I'm going to be make, uh, making asparagus spears, and we're going to have rice as our uh, carbo base. And then for dessert, I'm going to be having chocolate dipped strawberries using some chocolate bunnies that I bought after Easter uh, this last uh, year. And, uh, or you can use chocolate that you get after uh, Valentine's Day or whenever uh, you get a good deal on really good chocolate. So I'm going to be making all this up and hopefully you can watch and then at the end there will be the recipes so if you'd like to make this yourself you can um, make a great meal for your family if you go ice fishing. It will make it a lot easier to get uh, permission if you need it to go ice fishing anytime you want. So hopefully you'll enjoy this meal as a part of Field of Feast. What we're going to be doing for the fish is I'm going to be um, making a flour uh, coating and I'm using this is a little bit more than an eighth teaspoon of pepper. You can use as much as you like. Most of these, um, these recipes, you can make them the way that you want them. Uh, I have a little bit more than an eighth uh, teaspoon of um, pepper. You can use less or more according to what you want. Also use about a half a teaspoon of salt and you can measure that any way you want. I'm gonna measure it with my hand there and then mix that up. And this is going to be, this is one cup of flour. So I'm just stirring that salt and that pepper into that flour. Now this isn't all the salt these fillets are going to have because I'm going to dip these first in this mix and then I'm going to mix, uh, I'm going to also dip these uh, fillets into uh, an egg uh, that I've beaten up. This is actually two eggs that I beat up together that is going to be a coating after I dip the fillets in the, um, into the flour. And then this is a secret weapon here. These are uh, saltine crackers and I just take out a full package and then I squeeze that until they're all crushed and that's going to be my final coating. Then I'm going to put the fillets, I'm going to put butter in this frying pan. I'm going to lay the fillets into the, into the frying pan and we're going to flip those fillets one time in the butter and it's going to make a really, um, a really nice brown uh, coating. Uh, when it fries, butter fries really, really fast. It can burn really easily, but it also makes a really beautiful brown coating. Then I'm going to take a little bit of, a couple of tablespoons of butter after that and I'm going to put uh, a full lemon. I'm going to squeeze a lemon into this pan and we're going to make a sauce out of the drippings and out of a little bit more butter and out of um, lemon juice from a, a lemon that I just got at the grocery store. So that's what we're going to do for the fish. I'll finish crushing these in just a second. First thing I want to do to get going is I'm going to take, you can measure rice any way you want, um, but it's a two to one ratio. So I've got about a cup of rice. It's actually a, a big mug and it's not completely full. I'm using a rice cooker today. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite. Um, uh, tools is a rice cooker. Uh, in one of my other videos I showed you how to make rice using just simply a, a pan and cooking it slowly in a pan. The nice thing about a rice cooker is it does everything for you. You don't have to worry about overcooking it or scorching it. And so if you invest in any piece of electrical uh, appliance in your, in your kitchen, invest in a rice cooker. Um, I'm going to be using about two-thirds of this mix. I'm going to be trying something. I've used pure uh, orange juice, but I'm using a pineapple orange this time. And again, it's a two-to-one mixture, so if you're using a mug uh, you're going to, and you fill that up with rice, you're going to fill that up twice with whatever liquid you're going to put in. So I'm going to put one, and then I'm not going to use this pure. I'm going to, I'm going to add some water. And this will be two into my uh, into my rice cooker. So if you're using a pan or you're using a rice cooker, you can use straight water with butter if you want. 
or you can use um, a V8 or, or seasoned tomato juice. Uh, you can experiment, but this time I'm going to use, I'm going to go with a citrusy flavor for my rice. Also, um, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. And close that down. Plug it in. Press the button down. And these just have a button, and that's ready to cook. This will be ready in about 15 minutes. One of the dishes that I already started was my um, turnip greens. These are fresh turnip greens I bought. They were pre-cut, and I put a couple of um, I put a bacon strip in. I, I broke it apart and broke, put it in. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in with this. And salt those a little bit. They've been boiling about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. They're pretty close, pretty close to being done. They can cook a long time. Just after they've gotten uh, tender, you're going to cut the cut the heat back on them a little bit. So I'm going to turn that to low. This is the pan I'm going to cook my asparagus in, but I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start it right the second. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and start with my fish. I want to start out with the fillets being pretty dry. So I'm going to towel these. I'm going to use a paper towel. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to towel these off here. Make it where you can see those. These are the perch fillets from the other day, and you can watch my one of my other videos on bluegill fishing. And I've got uh, filleting bluegills, and you fillet these fish just like you would a bluegill. So there's my fillets. That's what we're going to start with right there. Okay, I've crushed up my uh, saltine crackers here. And this will be what I'm going to dip my fillets in. I'm going to take a stick of butter, put it in this pan. And we're going to get that up hot real fast. And that won't take but just a second. Yeah, that's good. And dip them in the egg mixture and then dip them in the cracker crumbs and we're going to plate, place those right in the pan so you can see how we do that. Get that fork out. Dip them in the cracker crumbs. Lay them in the pan. Two or three at a time here, maybe. Get those going. We're going to fry these fillets about three minutes per side. Three minutes per side. Oops. I put about um, a little more than a half a teaspoon is a clove. Around my wife says a half teaspoon. I thought it was closer to a full teaspoon. Um, I mixed that in with the butter. I had three tablespoons of butter, and I got the butter melted. I've got it hot. I've got my fire going. Put in some crushed garlic, or you can put in our. This is actually minced garlic, or you can put in uh, chopped um, cloves of garlic and place that into the butter and mix that in. And then I'm going to take my asparagus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the tips of my asparagus here. Put those in my butter. Put it up there. I'm going to cover my pan and let that cook. My fire's not hot enough here. Okay.
these. Now I haven't put any lemon sauce on this yet. Mm. All right, I've cleaned up my um, cleaned up my cutting board. Make sure your cutting board's clean. Don't cut meat on the court cutting board and then and then cut vegetables. If you do, make sure you wash it and you with soap and water and also use vinegar. Vinegar will kill all the germs. All I'm going to do is use this to cut my lemon. And I'm going to squeeze cut my feet back here. Squeeze this lemon into my pan. Now obviously, if you have one of those cool lemon squeezers, that works really nice. For now, all I have is this. Alright, I'll set those off the side. And then I'm going to use a little bit more butter. Now what we're going to do here is with that lemon and the drippings and this little bit of butter, this is about uh, two tablespoons of butter, we're going to make a sauce that can be drizzled over the fish fillets. Okay? So we'll just get that hot. We're going to plate up some food and I'm not going to say uh, go to the table setting I'm just going to show you what it looks like and again you can get the recipes at the end of the video so what we want to do is we're going to put well, let's put a couple of fillets on the plate here and then I'm going to get some of this lemon lemon butter mix that's in my pan I'm going to put a little of that on my fish. Oh my goodness, everybody's gonna love you for this. Alright, so we got that. Right here we've got our asparagus. I think I'm gonna cut that off. Put a few asparagus spears on there. Our turnip greens right here. Gonna make sure I squeeze those really good so they don't have water running on the plate. Put a few of those on my plate. Let's put a few more. Now, obviously, turnip greens aren't that beautiful to look at, but with a little Louisiana hot sauce, they're fantastic. Our rice just came off, just finished, and I'm gonna put some of my orange rice on the plate and there you have it. Here I'll move it around a little bit. There you go. That's a meal your whole family will love and they'll be thankful you took up fishing. Ice fishing that is. I hope you get out, go ice fishing, catch some perch, catch some bluegills, fillet them up, make your family a great meal. They'll be glad that you took up fishing or hunting and you're gonna serve them wonderful meals and this is the completion of a great field feast. So this is the chocolate bunny and now it's chocolate runny and we're going to take these strawberries and dip those in like that. You can also dip those into uh, crushed pecans, or you can dip dip those into coconut, and that adds a little bit of extra to that topping. I didn't do the white chocolate. I just wanted to do regular chocolate today. White chocolate can be crumbly, so you have to be real careful with that. And then I'm going to do a few of these, and I'm going to put these in the fridge. Let them chill for a couple of minutes and they're going to be a great dessert. So.